after shocking reports of Lil Durk's recent jail situation went viral, there's been a new twist. We've heard from YSL's infamous snitch, Lil Woody, who testified against Young Thug in the YSL trial. Woody, reflecting on his own mistakes, decided to send a message to Lil Durk, sharing advice on how to navigate his current situation. I want to hear my opinion on the Lil Durk situation. I ain't saying he's guilty. I don't know what the situation is, but if life is going good for you and you come for private, we risk so much of our freedom, time, and life trying to get where we at to put ourselves in a position where we can take care of our family and our responsibility. The best revenge was for King Von. I'm not saying dirt guilty or anything, but the best revenge that you could have got for King Von was stepping up and taking care of his kids. We in the way. We, we do stupid stuff. Why is we out here trying to continue to hurt each other? It's not gonna bring you back. What's done is done. It's permanent. Go get his kids, take his kids, and put his kids in a position where they never had to walk in their daddy's footsteps. It hurt me to see that dirt came so far in life just to end up in his predicament. Y'all rap about these things in y'all sons, showing that y'all know better and still choose to be foolish. But God knows we gotta come together because at the end of the day, we our own enemy. But before we get into the full story, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Rap News Gossip to stay on top of all the latest rapper news. Allegedly, Dirk's time in jail is not looking good. He's currently being held in the Federal Detention Center in Miami, a place known for its strict conditions. Interestingly, reports say that Dirk has actually charmed both the prison staff and other inmates. His main complaint, the food. And after being transferred from Fulton County's detention center, some speculate that his move to Miami is part of a potential bail strategy. Kodak Black's attorney, Brad Cohen, has hinted that Dirk's team may have a chance to beat the charges, especially if the prosecution lacks solid evidence linking him to the high-profile case involving King Von and Quando Rondo. However, the outcome might hinge on whether anyone from his crew, including OTF members, is willing to testify against him. Cohen himself said, it's far from a slam dunk case and there's a lot they need to prove to make this conspiracy charge stick when it comes to um dirt banks you know so far i've seen one text that says don't have them associate my name with any kind of flights that they're taking certainly that's not a good text but is that the only text because that doesn't you know that in itself doesn't stand on its own certainly it's circumstantial uh but like i said there's we have to wait and see what other evidence they have. If they have a snitch, if they have videotapes or, or audio tapes of him saying something, I think that's a lot different uh, than, hey, just make sure you don't associate my name with these guys. Because it could be, he could be blaming, you know, Grant or one of these other guys and saying like, hey, these guys are gonna do some crazy stuff. And he's like, yeah. hey, listen, make sure it doesn't associate with me yeah. at all. You, you can look at that a million different ways. So I'm, I'm, hesitant to say that they have you know a slam dunk case on on dirt banks as it stands right now the evidence against lil dirk is pretty small however we don't fully know all of the info that otf jam gave on lil dirk but the famous rap lawyer would then reveal what lil dirk's release date could be depending on if somebody snitches or not so it all depends on the hunger of the u.s attorney and the AUSA that's involved and if they want this individual badly enough they'll make very attractive deals for these individuals. What, a, what does a very attractive deal look like? I think they go for the lowest hanging fruit. Uh, whoever, you know, didn't actually guy, you know, maybe someone that was involved that didn't, didn't actually, or someone that, but it didn't hit, you know, they, they're gonna have forensics. Yeah. So they'll take whoever is the least culpable. And I think that they'll approach him and make a deal with him um, with, that'll be the most attractive. And if that guy doesn't make a deal, they'll move on to the next guy. So usually that's what happens, right? You go for the lowest hanging fruit first, right. the guy that you think will flip, the guy that didn't really have that much involvement. And I think what also is interesting with the indictment is it wasn't just money. They're like, oh, it could have been money or it could have been career advance. But things could take a dark turn for Lil Durk. There's one man who could make his life even harder in jail, and that's Brick Baby. Months before Dirk's arrest, Brick Baby hinted that Dirk had already avenged his close friend, King Von, in subtle ways. Brick Baby's recent livestream reaction to Dirk's arrest raised eyebrows. Let's just see. Oh, five <laughs> Chicago gang up. members with ties to Lil Dirk OTF accused of being hired to the live Quando Rondo in the LA incident where Lil Pop was alive. Suspects faced the 
penalty if convicted. He said indict. It was an indictment alleged that flights and rental cars were paid with credit cards linked to OTF. But was this an attempted hit? Or well, I was they they say that no more. Then they put you as well. Why? Oh yeah, cause of your face wait no wait no no like he died. You can't say that no more. <laughs> oh, cause of FBG Cash. Oh, federal charges in California. Nah, cause no pop. So this is about the oh. What's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. Especially when he implied he'd have even given up Quando Rondo's location if Dirk had asked him. Why is that? Then it's people like, you lined up somebody from your hood. Like, listen, I didn't. It. But at the end of the day, what's wrong with giving my friend the address? Oh, uh, this is my boy. He lost his boy. Who did it could be around. I'm shit, nine times out of ten, it had he had to ask me, shit, I probably would have been uh, coke, if he even asked anybody if this is even true. But nine times out of ten, like I said, could I could I leak a bar? Sure. I said if he make the car right now, I something. Right. This kind of loyalty, while strong, could lead to more scrutiny and tougher conditions for Dirk as he awaits trial. Meanwhile. OTF Jam, a close associate, has recently been under suspicion for being an informant. OTF fans unearthed old Instagram lives where Jam is seen suspiciously holding his jacket close and murmuring into it. Some fans believe he's been cooperating with the feds for years, possibly helping to build the case that led to Dirk's current predicament. Like my whole dream change. I ain't gonna lie to the like back in the day. Oh, my God. Oh, dang. Like, you sad. Look, he's a man. He's a man. Check on your man. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> hey, when I was growing up, I didn't have an architect. I didn't have an architect. School was out of stuff now. All that whooping on the net, it got your man Metro. Uh -huh. Metro! DJ Academics revealed that Dirk might have sensed this betrayal coming. I see shit from a mile away. I don't think people realize that. I could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could have, I, I could have a conversation with you for, for five seconds and, and, and know your is gonna cooperate. Co before his arrest, Dirk hinted in an interview that he'd become cautious and kept even his closest friends in the dark. He wouldn't reveal where he was staying or any other sensitive info. Nobody, nobody is ever allowed to my house. It be, it be, my best friend never been to my house. For real? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Your best friend? I promise. Like it's people like that. I just don't allow. I just don't allow around my grill and my kids because it's like. I'm just a different type. I'm not the. I'm have family night at Dirk house tonight. It's the. You said watch oh, everybody at Dirk crib. Yeah, yeah we, we got we got everybody getting watched. We gotta watch everybody. Hey, you go too. He, hey, they go too close to them kids. You know what to do. Like that's how I play. Like I don't play. Many believe this was his way of playing 3D chess against potential snitches. Unfortunately. Dirk's suspicions came too late. From a group of journalists, actually, I, I'll give up the source. Well, not really the person, but an Atlanta-based journalist said, "Hey, act. This is going to happen soon." And I said, "What?" And you know, I get my sources, and I get news told to me. They said, "I've been told that the feds have been looking into Little Dirk." But I remember this is before the O Block Six thing happened. Well, actually, maybe it was, I, don't, I can't remember the timing, but I remember thinking after the old block six or five, like got convicted, I'm like, all right, Dirk's finally in the clear. That's what I thought. But th the person who was telling me, they say they had good authority that was coming from investigative bodies that was um, um, involved in looking into that. Jam who served a 12-year prison bid and was regarded as a trusted member, was allegedly found in possession of an illegal firearm shortly after his release. Facing a 20-year sentence, it's believed Jam turned informant to avoid going back to prison. And despite Dirk's support and financial aid upon Jam's release, it seems Jam still chose to cooperate. Yeah, because uh, you just came home uh, not too long ago, like when you come home. 
Sad man, a little bit over here. Yeah. Okay. A little bit over here. Hey, twelve yeah. years flat. Twelve years. Like twelve years. Did my time. Ain't told on nobody. Right. Ain't no f on my name. Like, like, how did you even get linked in with uh, this OTF period? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't no people I met. Nah, I knew them, like I'm saying, this was before jail. I don't know. Yeah, because he, he's super solid, but like, a, he's like, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, Jam, get out that jam, I'll give him 50. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to ask. Bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. You know what I'm saying? The news has sparked widespread reactions in the hip hop community. Lil Baby posted, Free the boy Dirk? The streets are cold. It's your own people who will turn on you. But Charleston White had a different reaction, calling Jam's cooperation a victory for the rap community, saying that snitching on Dirk would help clean up the streets. To make matters worse, the feds reportedly obtained iCloud records linking Lil Dirk to the purchase of flight tickets allegedly used for a hit. According to leaked reports, Dirk advised an associate not to use any names connected to him. Despite the warning, the associate used a credit card directly linked to Dirk, making it easy for investigators to connect the dots. And with more evidence stacking up, some worry this could severely impact Dirk's chances of release. Investigators even traced connections between Dirk's crew and King Von's associates, further strengthening the alleged conspiracy case against Dirk. Several suspects involved were known to act as street security for Von and Dirk. Prosecutors argue that this connection combined with travel records, suggests a coordinated effort to retaliate for Vaughn's murder. Even DJ Vlad weighed in, saying he never believed anyone would be bold enough to leave such a visible trail. Yet, he admitted he'd been proven wrong as Dirk's alleged involvement became easier to trace through digital records and credit card payments. Charleston White doubled down on his criticisms, saying that Dirk's arrest has exposed the hypocrisy of rap fans. They rally for their favorite rappers, White says, but ignore the real impact of their actions. He seems to believe that this high-profile case could deter others from making similar mistakes. So what's the real story behind Lil Durk's jail situation? Is he truly betrayed by those closest to him, or is this just another chapter in a much larger game? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Rap News Gossip and hit that notification bell to stay updated on everything hip-hop. Until next time, stay tuned.